The U.S. military is taking a big step in the fight against the spread of Ebola. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel announcing that all troops returning from Ebola-stricken countries in West Africa will go under quarantine. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman is live in the newsroom. Scott, how long will the quarantine last? Uh, Gordon, it's going to be 21 days, but it really just heightens the argument over what's the right path forward. The U.S. military deciding today that all American troops returning from Ebola missions in West Africa will be put into isolation for that three week incubation period. Right now, that means nearly 1000 troops could face quarantine upon return. And although none of them are supposed to be in contact with Ebola patients, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel felt it was the smart, safe move. This is also a policy that um, was discussed in great detail by the communities, by the families of our uh, military men and women, and uh, they very much wanted uh, a safety valve on this. Now, President Obama this afternoon, though, really bashed a similar tactic that's being employed by governors in some states for aid workers who return from West Africa. He called it unnecessary panic. When I hear people talking about American leadership and then are promoting policies that would avoid leadership, and have us running in the opposite direction and hiding under the covers? It makes me a little frustrated. The White House has explained in the past that it is a different scenario, though, when talking about the military, since they are not there voluntarily. Uh, they are also in much closer quarters most of the time. President Obama worries, though, he says that the potential quarantine of aid workers upon returning will discourage doctors and nurses from going to West Africa to try and contain the disease. In the newsroom tonight, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Scott.